Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tails. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Holman true to stab to death after shooting Florida woman in the face. A suspect was stabbed to death after he entered a couple's home and shot a woman in the face in Highlands County Thursday night. The Highlands County Sheriff's Office deputy said they were called to a home on Joe Hilton Street in Avon Park around 8.30 p.m. after receiving the call about a suspicious incident. When they arrived, deputies say they found the victims, the husband and the wife, who are both 69 with serious injuries. The male victim told deputies that he had just killed the man inside of his residence and that the man was still inside. That person, a suspect who deputies identified as Lindsey Glenn, 62 years old, was dead inside the home. Deputies said Glenn used the rules to gain entry into the home. Once inside the home, the man shot the woman in the face. Immediately, the victim number two, the male, jumped into action and started fighting the suspect. Somewhere along the way, victim number two, the male, produced a knife. The suspect later died, Sheriff Blackman said Glenn was cut to pieces by the time deputies could arrive to get him. The sheriff said they don't know if the suspect knew the victims in this case, but did point to the intruder's extensive criminal history, including robbery and burglary. Deputy said the woman is stable while the man was treated at the local hospital and released. The investigation is still ongoing. Sound like the investigation over with me. That man got his ass cut down. Quick thinking and courage. That's what the Highlands County Sheriff says a homeowner needed. To turn the tables on an armed home invader, a gunman who broke into their home and shot his wife in the face. Thankfully, she survived. But her husband killed the intruder. Fox 13's Kylie Jones shows us tonight how he was able to fight off that attacker and why the sheriff says it was a courageous move. A scary moment for neighbors in Avon Park Thursday night when they see who's at their door. Our next door neighbor has stumbled upon our porch and um, she was uh, kind of not in a good situation. She was uh, bleeding. But a terrifying moment just before that. That woman had run across the street to her neighbor's house on Joe Hilton Street after she was shot in the face by a home intruder. Her husband was still inside facing that intruder. He expressed to our deputies that he had just killed a man inside of his residence. It started around 8.30 Thursday night when the Highlands County couple got a knock at their door. Deputies say the knock came from 62-year-old Lindsey Glenn, who conned his way inside. The female victim in this case is will often notarize things for uh, for different folks in the community, and it's not uncommon for someone to knock on the door. Sheriff Paul Blackman says Glenn suddenly pulled out a gun and shot the wife in the face, but he was quickly met with a fight of his own when the husband jumped in. He went to work on the on the suspect. Blackman says the husband pulled out a folding pocket knife. In the sheriff's words Thursday night, the husband cut Glenn to pieces. He had a job to do and he did it well. I mean, he he not only took, you know, took up for his wife, uh, his his family, his, his property there, and uh, he defended them very, very well. I'm not saying this is what happens when you come in somebody's house and the truth somebody's house, but that's what happens. Tyrus Godfrey says he's just grateful that he and his wife were home to help the 69-year-old neighbors they call family. Very loving people. You know, they do whatever they can for the community. Um, they feed the community, the, the church people. The sheriff says Glenn had a decades-long criminal history with half a dozen stints in prison. If everyone defended their home and defended their family in such a nature, uh, I think we'd have a lot less crime in our area. In Highlands County, Kylie Jones, Fox 13 News. Yeah, man, so you see how they getting down out there in Highlands County, Florida. Homeboy just ran up in the bitch house, shoot the lady in the face. Her husband jumped in the action, though, cut his ass down, boy. Now, see, that's what I call tenacity, boy. He, 
He cut him down with a knife. That man had a gun, boy. A hey, a weapon is better than no weapon. But this why it's good to have a firearm in your home. He wouldn't have had to do none of that wrestling. As soon as he said that, all he had to do was up the fire and give it to him. Florida's constitutional carry. I know next time he'll be better prepared. It's good to have a gun in your home. This right here is a perfect example. Older people, older couple. You need that gun to protect your house. And then he old himself. What the fuck he got going on running around here, boy? You might well get that shit up. Pops, it's over. But now your ass ain't got to worry about it because you taking a dirt nap. Man, it's your boy Smoke Tales, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.